Well, hello, Pisces. <laughs> Welcome to your April reading. Okay, we're going to go into your oracle cards first. There goes one. <laughs> and see what we have for you. Okay, so we're starting off with bully. Highlights your tendency to intimidate others and helps you confront the inner fears that bully you. Um, acceptance is what comes to mind. It feels like you're being forced to accept something uh, that you don't want to deal with, um, but it's in your best interest to do so. Ascending the mountain, keep going forward. It's interesting though, Pisces, because I feel like you really want to get past your issues or really want to get past whatever it is that you've been working on or dealing with within yourself. Um, and this is one of the steps to do so. But I feel like there is an innate, like a, like a um, instinctual feeling within you that when you come to that mountain, you want to like um, rebel or retaliate, you know, or fight back um, in a way that cannot, that sometimes can't be in, in ways that are not helpful to you but it's interesting because I feel like you see it right you understand it it's not like it's a big mystery um you're just figuring out spiritually how to do that or how to get through it so we have woman holding a coin hostilities and victim mentality yeah that's exactly what this is it's like you've hit a mountain you know, you know that there's something that you want. You've made a decision, but you've hit a mountain. And you're sort of throwing a pity party for yourself or you have a tendency to do that. But I feel like there's a need to want to change that. So we have shaman, fire, and offerings. Yeah. Yeah. So how this is ending is you're going to have to be vulnerable with yourself. You're going to have to be like, okay, this is a thing that I do, or this is a problem that I have, and I don't want to live here, <laughs> right? I want to be happy. I want the kind of joy that I want to have. Um, I want to get through things. I want to be a better person. So that's what it feels like, okay? So let's get into your cards, all right? <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. Seven of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Three of Cups. Three of Swords, the High Priestess, Judgment, King of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Mm. There's an air of something being up in the air to you, being questionable having many options or um, many scenarios. That's just an overall vibe that I'm getting. You've definitely been working on you, your life, your spirituality, your emotional capacity. You've been working on that. Um, and you're starting to feel very secure in who you are and what the, si the situation you've set up for yourself, right? So you're like, okay, I got me a good jumping off point. I'm good to go. 
Um, I'm ready to step out into the world. I'm ready to use my wisdom and knowledge to open up now. Like I'm finally ready from working on myself. Um, to step out into the world or to, to come out of my shell or whatever that is. So what's interesting is the first thing you think about is camaraderie, friends, building friendships, building connections. Um, and I feel like you're thinking about the people in your life and the connections in your life that you had before you kind of shut yourself down. Um, so this is people from the past, friends from the past, like the people who are really good for you. That's what I'm saying. And how maybe you don't talk to them anymore or you separated yourself from them. And what happened? Like what happened to get you there? What happened that you don't talk to your family or a family member? What happened that you don't talk to your friend? Or maybe there was somebody that you dated that you were like, that would have been a good person for me. Maybe not to date, but as a friend, like... I feel like you're just looking back on friendships, connections, um, situations that were good for you that you separated from at the time because you didn't have the wisdom or the knowledge and that's fine, you know? Um, but I feel like there's a looking back at what, how this could have been really good for you emotionally or spiritually. Um, And I feel like you're making a choice to open your heart up to the possibilities. Um, I feel a lot of apologies. Apologies, realizations, acceptance. Let's see, Pisces. Uh, yeah, you've been working on sort of letting your guard down. I feel like in the past you were quite defensive. Um, and you've definitely worked on and gained some skills on how to handle that. Whether you know it or not, it's just that you have to put it into practical practice. <laughs> right now real world practice um and that's what you're doing you know you're ready to move forward you're ready to step out you're ready to almost I'm gonna say almost take some risks but the risks have a point you know you're not just doing something and be like let's see what happens you're like okay I'm gonna contact this person and apologize like it has a reason um and yeah it has a reason to be helpful to you emotionally um, or spiritually, spiritually wise. Yeah, you've definitely made some choices in April to call some people, to apologize, uh, to admit some things um, or admit some things to yourself as well. Like, you know what? <laughs> you're fully aware of what your issues or hangups are and you're admitting them to yourself, which is great. You know, it kind of reminds me of recovery. Like the first step is admitting you have a problem and that's, you get it. It's there. You've made it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you're looking to change. Okay, how they're making me see this is you're looking to create your tribe, whatever that is. Um, and this could be the way you live, your relationships with people, your friendship circles. You're just ready to change. You want something that's more comfortable, that's more fair. Um, it's like you're doing what's right. You're not making excuses. You're not 
lying. You're not, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you're just doing what needs to be done, regardless if it is tough, hard, um, if you have to bite the bullet, you're, you're doing it because you know, that's what's right. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you kind of cut people off for a long time. Or been sort of emotionally distant in a lot of ways. And not only have you found out or accepted why that is, you're ready to move on. And you're ready to come out of that cave. That protective place and be a part of the collective, the world, you know. Um, you're in a and you're in really good spirits emotionally. Um, and I feel like you're ready to sort of connect with others. Yeah, you've turned over a new leaf. Interesting. You've turned over a new leaf and you're ready to apologize, make amends, restart things, uh, fix, fix. And it's interesting because, Pisces, as long as you feel like you're doing what's right, um, that's what matters. It's less about the other person's reaction as much as you're like, okay, I feel like it's time for me to do this, right? Because that's what's fair and that's what's right. Mm. This is definitely leading you to a more grounded, happy and secure life where you don't feel the need to like lash out or be what other people need you to be or pay attention to what social media says. It's like... You have the confidence to um, make your own choices and, and feel comfortable in your life and in, in the choices that you've made. That's where you're headed. Um, but in order to get there, you know that you have to close out some chapters, right? Um, put some band-aids on some things or make some apologies, it's like a redemption tour almost. <laughs> you know you have to make this for yourself or you know you have to step out. So that's what you're doing. You're leaving behind needing to be accepted by everyone, public views, traditional thoughts. Um, you're stepping away from that. And... It's like that you've made the commitment to follow your heart and that's the best thing to do. You're going to let your heart lead you. Um, it has a, it has a pureness, but also an intelligence or wisdom to it. Um, you're, you're, you understand that your emotions are your biggest asset. You're very connected to your emotions, Pisces. They guide you sometimes in a good place, sometimes in a bad place. But you know that that is your superpower. And it doesn't make sense to not have control over your superpower. Why would you hide it? So that's what it feels like to me. It's like you understand it now and you're learning how to use it to your benefit. Mm, how beautiful, right? So your actions to take is to step out of your comfort zone in April um, to get some healing or to give healing to others. 
<laughs> honestly, um, that's needed. It doesn't mean that you're going to fix everything, but you can start some healing paths for others and for yourself in, in, in certain situations. Learn how to understand your emotions and your intuition and your feelings in a healthy manner. Um, because they're going to lead you to happiness. And hold on to what's important. Okay. Um, the key is learning how to manage your emotions and not letting them take you out of sorts. But to respect them the way they need to be respected. You know, um, don't be overly in love. Don't be overly angry. You know, don't be overly compassionate or um, overly needy. There is a balance to things. That's where the wisdom comes in. Okay. Yeah, the Ace of Swords popped out for you, Pisces, because there's so much knowledge here that you're learning. April is an aha moment for you. It's a wake up call. Um, it's like things sync up. You start to understand where what everything is leading you to. It all makes sense in April. Um, let's talk about your money and your career first. Um, This is funny because um, this tells me like you have a job that is not um, your dream job, you know, but it's like you're doing, you're working the way you need to work, right? Um, like it's not your favorite thing, it's not your dream job. But you know that the money is good, the stability is good, the benefits are good, um, logically. This is more like logically. So you're getting out of your head about every little thing that's happening and deciding to sort of enjoy life around work. So it's like work is work, but my life can be exciting and then work is work it's like you're learning how to separate those two things um because you're making good money or have good benefits it, it just doesn't make sense I don't know it's like you're taking more of a logical approach to work um You've had problems in the past with admitting your feelings or communicating to others um, or maybe even understanding others or understanding your own feelings. I feel like it, it got a little complicated and you're ready to start communicating in a better way. Also, I feel like you can see things um, from different perspectives easier and not be so closed off to your own energy there's definitely some sort of new spark in your intuition <laughs> and how you view things definitely some sort of spark you're learning something you're becoming something new spiritually internally feeling more at peace um and because of that you're making moves and taking steps in that sort of energy um yeah it, 
less you you're caring less about what other people think starting in april very interesting right it's like they don't like it they do like it whatever that's fine i'm my own person hmm okay Your intuition, your spirituality, I talked about this during the reading, Pisces, um, is what's leading you forward. That's where you're going to get all of your answers, okay? So there has to be a trust in yourself and your emotions and a balance in those two. So you're not gearing one way or another. It's more in the center. Um, yeah, it's like you're going to stop fighting your intuition and your feelings about things and using that as a guide for yourself in a healthy way, okay? <laughs> so last but not least, in relationships, you've been working on yourself because of a past relationship or something in your past in love um, triggered you to sort of work on yourself and your life, Um and I feel like you're grateful for that. That's what's so interesting is you might have been mad at about it at first, but now I feel a sense of being grateful that you even had this opportunity, okay? Ooh, this is knowing that everybody doesn't have the answers for you. Uh, everybody else's choices and decisions are not yours. This was a this was a very big shock to the system for you, and I feel like you had to rearrange how you thought about things after this realization. Um, that you're in control, and now you're making choices based on that in your relationships. Some of you are going to go back and talk to people you left based on maybe a friend telling you to leave them or something like that. Um, I feel like there's a lot of changes in your love life, positive, based on you actually following yourself and not being influenced by other people or social media or um, your family's opinions. Okay. Interesting. Insecurity and service. Growth. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is finding confidence in other people. Like I said, social media, family, uh, you, what your friends say, uh, finding finding comfort in that. And I feel like when you thought of it's like when you follow everyone or social media or whatever, you look at your life now and you're like, I don't like where this is putting me. You know, I don't like this situation. I don't like how this is. And now I don't know how to listen to my emotions, my feelings, my uh, intuition. So you started working on that. And in April, you're learning how to listen to your heart, your heart chakra, your intuition, your compassion in a healthy way. It's like you're growing um, your emotional confidence. Okay, which is beautiful. All right, Pisces, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> bye bye.